Hey guys, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com and I wanted to give you a look at Unity Launcher and if the word Unity rings a bell it may be because we've uh, had a lot of coverage of the Ubuntu smartphone OS which of course uses the Unity uh, UI and one of the main parts of the Unity UI is that switching apps is done with a swipe in from the left edge of the phone and as you notice here uh, even though it's called a launcher you li literally just get this out of it. I have the uh, stock Jelly Bean launcher from Android 4.2 on here and this gets overlaid straight over the top and the way that it's done is it's done with a configuration utility of course called Unity Launcher and it's not selected as a normal uh, home screen replacement launcher when you hit home the first time it doesn't ask you to switch launchers or anything of the sort all you do is it just launches here and you get to um, edit how you would like the edge to work so uh, it flashes this edge here and this is going to be the area of the screen that's reserved for lack of a better word for the swiping gesture so if you were to make it wider more of the screen would be unresponsive to the rest of the OS because it's waiting to be swiped in. I've been using a pretty small uh, area just so it doesn't uh, interfere, but slightly smaller than default is about what I found is the best uh, compromise. Easy to swipe in with the left. Um, with my right hand, uh, it takes a little bit more of a flick, kind of, because you have to lift up to make sure you're not selecting a larger area. but. Um, the customization is there to make it work how you want and if you prefer to have it on the right you can change the position top left um, top right you know center all all different parts and you can change the height and things like that so you can really uh, customize how it's going to look for you and uh, as far as customization goes there's even more options as far as how long the launcher is visible because when you swipe in swiping away doesn't do anything it stays in as long as you tell it to so uh, by default it's 1.2 seconds and there's a 400 millisecond delay um, to the animation so you could set that to zero presumably and have it instantly come in you can edit the background color and the icon background and whether or not to show the names under the icons um, by default it's the uh, standard kind of unity colors and it has black black backgrounds on the icons but really what's important here is that it doesn't mess with the launcher so for me I've been able to switch to two 4x2 widgets on the home screen and just the basic icons in the dock because everything else is in here for me my normal home screen would look something like this with all the folders in it and things of that sort so now it gives me a little more customization so I think that people that like to mess around with launchers a little bit maybe get rid of the dock, get rid of the search bar and have a bunch of different widgets and things of that sort and just have something like this for switching apps um, it could be really compelling so for example if you're in another uh, app you can still switch and I could go to Foursquare and I could go to Google Plus and I don't know I could go to Maps and it continues to work in all of the apps and I've, I've had no ill effects uh, so far seeing um, I've never had any issues with you know parts of the screen being unresponsive or anything like that the launcher itself is extremely smooth which is nice and um, you get the full nearly full experience um, whether you use the free version or the paid version which is only 99 cents the uh, paid version gives you some more customization options the uh, color options and things of that sort so I definitely think that uh, Unity Launcher is worth a look and especially if you're into uh, home screen customization it leaves your launcher alone and lets you do uh, some really interesting things and for 99 cents it's uh, kind of a no-brainer to check out so thanks for taking a look guys that is Unity Launcher just 99 cents in the Play Store